What's the darkest secret you found out about a family member relative? When I was a kid we went to my grandma's house every Sunday and all of my uncles and aunts would be there. One day I noticed that one of my uncles didn't show up anymore so I asked my family where he is. They told me that he wouldn't be able to visit anymore because he moved away. Years later I found out that he are ped and killed two women and they locked him up. My mother supposedly has a fraternal twin. My grandmother couldn't handle the thought of two kids so she gave the male child away to someone she knew that was moving away. In a drug induced rage one night my grandmother screamed at my mom that she kept the wrong child. It was never mentioned before or after that moment. My mom was roughly 12 at the time. She asked my great grandmother about it and she knew the boy's name but not where they moved to or who he was living with. My mom actually had met him once but didn't know who he actually was. My grandmother denies it ever happened and my grandfather felt that surely they'd have had to tell me. I doubt they would have though. When she was pregnant with me. My mom asked my great grandmother what my middle name should be. My middle name is actually his middle name. Edit. For eternal twins. Not paternal twins. Stepfather was cheating on mother. Didn't find out because he was caught cheating. Found out because he and his mistress were drunk. Got in a fight. And he punched her so hard that she fell over and died. Found out about the whole thing during the investigation. The trial. And the conviction. Was weird to have a lawyer want to call 12 year old me to a stand to defend the character of a man I already had very little interaction and a fear of. And that was before the manslaughter charge. My father tried to kill my mother while she was pregnant with me. Two years ago I found out that my dad had a wife before my mom and she died in a freak accident on their wedding night. Edited. She was sleepwalking and fell to her death over the balcony if anyone was wondering. I found out that my grandfather's first wife, before my grandma, died of botulism from eating some tomatoes she had canned at home. She could have been saved. But he refused to take her to the doctor because the botulism was her fault. He let her die to teach her a lesson. Edit. They had two kids he left motherless. A few years before he passed. My dad and I had a long heart to heart. At the end of which. He told me he wasn't the one to first sleep with my mom on their honeymoon. He caught her in bed with her cousin. With which she was had been in love for a long time. He spoke with their pastor. Who told him to forgive and forget. That worked. Until 6 years later. When he caught her again. With the same cousin. He told me he wanted to leave with me but ultimately decided to stay. Because he wanted me to have a family. With all that happened in my childhood. And a him. Workaholic. Diabetes. Heart attack. I wish he'd left and be happy instead. Well. At least you know he loved you very very much. There is strong debate in our family as to whether my aunt fell out of the window of her flat. Whether she jumped or was pushed. She survived. But with brain damage. And says she can't remember. I found out from my dad that one of my cousins isn't related to anyone in the family. My aunt and her mother used to work at a hospital maternity ward and apparently a woman came in one day and gave birth to him and then left the next day without him. My aunt decided to adopt him. But a few months later the woman showed up again asking where he was. They both lied that he was given up and didn't have a clue where he was. They still haven't told my cousin anything. Not really dark at all. But surprising. My mild mannered buddhist lawyer uncle was international MR. Others leather daddy's boy of the year sometime in the late 80s. My dad told me that. Before my mom and dad broke up. He hadn't been happy with her for several years. My mother even had a miscarriage at one point. Which destroyed the both of them. But he couldn't leave her. Because he was afraid that she would hurt or even kill herself. So his only thought was to have a kid with her. So that motherly instinct would hopefully prevent her from killing herself. Are you the child that resulted? What a burden to have to carry. I found out my father arped my sister when I was 11 years old. She was only 7 when he was s abusing her. 
My biological grandfather threatened to kill my grandmother while she was very young and pregnant with my uncle. Long story short. He was engaged to someone else. My grandmother became a nervous wreck while pregnant and wouldn't leave the house and he used to throw bricks through the window. Eventually she told some of her friends about what he'd threatened to do to her. Shortly after that he went missing. Never to be seen or heard from again. We always kind of laughed and joked that one of her friends must have threatened him or siren him out of town. We would even go as far to say someone might have killed him for her. It wasn't until we were going through her boxes of photos and still of letters we realized she was actually friends with the Cray twins. My great uncle was murdered along with his wife. The murder suspect was run down and got stuck in a swamp. Shot himself in the head. Semicolon. The strange particulars. My uncle. His wife. And the murderer were all deaf mute. The murderer was renting a room from them. This happened in the 40s. And no one ever found the motive. Semicolon. A few years ago. I took a DNA test. And found that I had cousins who had descended from the murderer's wife. Semicolon. Turns out my great uncle was cuckolding him. It's like a horrible silent film. Sorry OP. My uncle didn't have an aneurysm stroke spontaneously. Sorry. I'm not a doctor. He deliberately stopped taking his blood thinners. Dude was 63 with a wife. 4 kids and 15 grandkids. The oldest of which was 13 and the youngest was not even a year. He was just done. His wife doesn't know. His kids don't know. I only know cause I overheard the family doctor telling my dad. As far as I know. Only myself. The doctor. And my dad know. I found out that my great grandpa got away with murder. He thought that my great grandma was cheating on him with her dentist so he went into his office and shot him. He got away with it too and they didn't find out that he did it until he told everybody before he died. Did it. Since a lot of people are asking if she actually cheated on him. I don't know. But. Considering he was an asshole that she was afraid to leave and he ended up being capable of murder. Probably. My grandmother used to kidnap and sell young girls in Mexico back in the 50s and 60s. She would sell them to ranchers to presumably be wives and or sex slaves. She was not a good person at all. My mom and dad decided to take in my three cousins because their mom got into a horrible car accident. Two girls and one boy. The girls were 6 and 10. The boy 12. Fast forward to when the 6 year old girl is 14 years old and is asked about birth control. She starts sobbing saying her brother, the then 12 years old, took her virginity when she was 6 and that it continued until she was about 13. We had no clue. Both of my mother's parents had affairs without the other's knowledge. My grandmother had Parkinson's and in one of her confused states she told my grandfather that she had an affair. Suffice to say my grandfather was not happy and put her in a home. He then started talking to my mother trying to figure out when it could have happened. He speculated that it happened around the same time he was having his affair. Which was around 1966. My mother was shocked. She was born in 1967. So my mother may or may not be related to the man she believed to be her father. Edit. Phrasing. Wait. So he was P said she had an affair. So he put her in a home. But he was also having an affair. My step grandfather had a completely hidden life in Australia before he met my grandmother. He had a family and kids in Australia. And faked his death by driving his car off a cliff then moving to America. His kids thought he was dead until my grandmother found out about them and reached out years later. His son actually became a famous comedian over there. And from what I know has a joke he does at his shows about his father faking his death to disconnect from them. Edit. Yes it's Greg Fleet. I recently found out that my grandmother committed suicide as a result of the Essel abuse she received from her grandfather as a child, aged 8-14. Apparently her mother and many of her relatives were compliant with it and would even send her to his house for week long visits where she would sleep in his bed. This post made me cry. No one kept her safe. 
near impossible to recover from such horrific abuse. I truly hope that wherever she may be now. She's at tremendous. Blissful peace. A relative tried to poison one of their guests. Once I learned about it. It finally sealed the deal for me and forever changed my view on them. They were bonkers anyway but good lord that's too much. My grandfather who I never met was in a cult and him and his friends s sorely abused my father and uncles. The weird thing is my father gave me his first name for my middle name. I've always thought it was the Stockholm Syndrome that made my father name me after his pervert and demented dad. I am legally changing my name on my next birthday. My father has never been a normal person. Supposedly according to my uncle he got the worst of the abuse. Which I accredit to his messed up childhood. My uncle's family claimed he had polio instead of a hereditary crippling disease. His wife figured it out when she went to their family reunion. She already had one child and was pregnant with another. My favorite aunt and uncle, they were together for 15 years but never married, lived in a trailer park. Growing up they was the funnest to be around. Bake cookers. Do paintings together. Etc. My uncle died in his sleep one day. I was told as a child. I was maybe 10. That he died from his diabetes, I've seen him inject his stomach before. Fast forward about 6 years. My aunt lived with my grandma now and was diagnosed with lung cancer. Now. I knew my aunt always smoked cigarettes and drank beer a lot. But my mom decided to tell me she was an addict. Up until my uncle died they did heroin and other drugs. My uncle most likely overdosed. This still didn't change the fact that I loved my aunt. She got sicker and sicker with cancer. Even spread to her throat. She went into remission. But once it came back she gave up. I miss her so ducking much. My parents told us they were married in secret until they found out my mom was expecting and then they told their families. It later came to light that they married on the day they found out my mom was pregnant and lied to their parents and us but that wasn't the doozy. My father was an only child and his parents absolutely idolized him. They were very strict Catholics and very strict with my dad never allowing him to play sports because they feared losing him or whatnot. My paternal grandmother had like 5 miscarriages. Anyway. After my dad's parents passed. He was going through their documents and he learned they had to get married too. Their wedding license was dated 2 months after the date he had always been told. I know it's not a very dark secret. Just a very catholic secret in a very catholic family. Growing up catholic I always heard the joke the first baby is always a preemie. That my dad had an affair with my current stepmom while married to my last stepmom. I had no idea. My paternal grandfather molested all his female grandchildren except for my sister and me. I didn't find out until I was in my late 40s when one of my cousins opened up to me. Nobody talked about such things in the deep south in the 70s and 80s. Granny had no clue what was happening. Papa had a workshop in the basement that granny wasn't allowed to enter. My dad might have had an idea that something was wrong but I'll never know. He passed away before us girls started talking. The reason why sister and I weren't hurt. We moved away when I was about 10 years old. As for Papa, He was a pillar of the community. A southern baptist minister. Nobody would have believed him capable of serial RP and incest. I'm going to go vomit now. I found out that my great grandpa wasn't actually my great grandpa because my great grandma had my grandma. Her daughter. With a famous boxer who was extremely abusive. She divorced him after having kids with him and met my great grandpa while she was supervising the manufacturing of B-25 bombers during World War II. My mom and I are the only ones, besides my grandparents, that know the true story. Edit. Holy shit. I was not expecting this to blow up like it did. If anyone wants to hear more I'd be willing to go more in depth. Colon. Close bracket. Edit 2. I talk to my mom about the story and turns out that my great grandma's first husband, the boxer, died. And that she wore a red dress to his funeral. That my grandfather murdered his own brother to inherit his money. Edit. 
My dad has a brother who I've never met and I didn't even know about his existence until a few years ago. I asked my parents why nobody from the family talks about him and why haven't they invite him to us but they said just because. And then we had other relatives over at our house and I heard them talking about him and it turns out the guy is a criminal and he spent almost all his life in prison but the worst thing he did is that he was molesting his own daughter. Or at least he was accused with it. But my mother and also the half of the extended family believes till this day that his daughter just made it up for attention. A cousin confided in me a month ago that she was molested by my grandfather when we were kids. She even told me that I was there with her when this was happening and I somehow don't remember anything about it. I hope he's burning in hell for it. Found out that a great great uncle pretty much got away with murder. His wife turns up dead. And she had bruising around her neck. Criminal forensics wasn't too advanced back in the early 1900s. Don't know how they ruled how she died. But he remained free. And ended up marring her sister a couple months later. That in 1930s my great aunt got pregnant at 14 as a result of our pay. Hit the pregnancy. And had the baby in the woods behind the house at night. She then buried the baby and spoke a word of it to nobody until on her deathbed. Oh and she didn't say if the baby was born alive or not. Found out the hard way that my grandfather was a Ezzel predator. Turns out my grandmother had been in denial despite both my aunts, their friends, and young girls in their small town claiming he up had molested them. One 16 year old even got pregnant and he paid for the abortion. Grandma lied about his whereabouts activities for years to protect him because if he went to jail she'd be unable to afford their house. So. Long story short. Me and my then 10 year old cousin were his latest and final victims. Thanks. Grandma. That my aunt let her friend molest my mom. My grandfather was very strict on them and made my aunt drag her younger sister along on her dates. While they were supposed to stay together. My aunt would bring an older guy friend to look after my mom and split up. She'd give her a curfew. Make sure they arrived home together. And told her not to say a word. My mom was 12 or 13 at the time. While my aunt was 17. I always knew that one of my mom's cousins struggled with drug addiction but I never knew the whole story. Apparently his father was also a heroin addict and made it as well. When my cousin was around 8 years old. His father injected him with heroin. I then learned other horrific things. Like how his uncles used to put alcohol in his baby bottle and blow marijuana smoke in his face. Oof. My mom saw her friend die in front of her because of a bus. My mom even said that she saw her intestines coming out of her mouth. Mind you my mom was I think 9 or 10 years old at the moment. After she told me about that I never questioned her again about her past because who knows what else she went through. Since a lot of these are about murders and rapists. Mine is a bit funny. We once found a family photo album in my wacky aunt's house. Start flipping through the plastic pages and boom. Gangbang photos. There had to be like 20-30 people in these photos. It was back in the 80s I'd imagine and everyone was so hairy and ugly. I guess Aunt Jan is part of a swinging community. Edit. Ro. Thank you everyone. This is the first time I've gotten a lot of love on here. It's a funny story only me and my brothers know. We've always considered our Aunt Jan to be very weird. But after seeing that album it all kinda made sense. Nice lady though. Here goes. My two remaining grandparents. My father's father and my mother's mother married each other when they were 75. This made my mother and father stepbrother and stepsister. Since the son of my father's sister, my aunt, is my cousin. And the son of my mother's brother, my uncle, is also my cousin. I became both cousins. I am. Therefore. My own cousin. I'll never be alone. When I was growing up my grandfather hated anything Russian. If there were any news about them he turned of the TV. If they played against any other team in hockey or so he didn't watch it, even though he loved ice hockey and it was a world cup final. I was a kid I didn't understand why. 
To me he was a retired carpenter and grandfather. When he passed away my uncle told me everything. How he served as a foreign volunteer for Finland in the Winter War against Soviet. My great grandfather was from Finland. How his friend were taken as a POW and executed. He then went back to Finland for the continuation war where he was wounded and almost died in the Battle of Ilamansti. The last big battle. My great grandmother had a child just after World War 1 and put it up for adoption. The birth dates we found indicate that the child was conceived while my great grandfather was in France fighting, also where he was killed in combat. We know almost nothing about this child. Other than the birth date and birth name. And we only found out a couple of years ago when one of my cousins was putting together an extensive family tree. My father used to secretly go to parks and highway rest stops to meet other men for anonymous sx. Just in case you're wondering. He really hated gay people. My mother was arped by her dad's war buddy and hunting partner when she was 13 and got pregnant. Police never did anything about it. But he died in a hunting accident a year or so later. When he and my granddad went on an elk hunt. Edit. My mother had a miscarriage. BTW. My grandfather molested my mother until he met an Irish woman who was to be deported so he sold all his stuff and my mom's stuff including her bed. And moved to Ireland with that woman leaving my mom in the driveway at 15 years old. Some pretty messed up stuff to learn your own mother went through. Not my family. After a 23 and my friend realized that his mom had over 150 siblings. He had been the product of a eugenics experiment carried out by an ex-Nazi doctor in California. He was a fertility expert. Wound up impregnating many women with his own sperm. Sounded like a bullshit story. Till he started showing me the proof. Not really dark. But sad. My brother Russell was 12 years older than me and I cannot remember a day without playing with him. My earliest memories are of him and me at a park. We shared a room together and I remember the fun we used to have late at night playing pillow forts and telling stories. I loved Russell and still do. When I was 7. He died in a car accident. At his funeral. I found out that Russell was not my brother. But someone my parents took in because he had a bad home life. It messed my head up trying to grasp this. But I am happy that my parents had the compassion to take care of him and treat him as their own and that he was such a big part of my life. To this day. I still consider him my brother and miss him every day. I love you Russell.